we we will have a lot of uh, speakers from from outside of Taiwan. Unfortunately, they they could come to Tainan, but but they are very willing to to share their experience online. So uh, in this session, we have uh, some uh, high school students from Japan, and they will uh, introduce their experience with uh, the open source community, and they, they, they will uh, share how they could uh, thinking about their, uh, their school and uh, their future and uh, their society. So uh, I, will I, want, I want to just introduce our speakers, like uh, Koda-san. Yes, Koda -san. can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello, and, yes. and we have uh, Koda-san from uh, Kofu Japan. And yes. we have another uh, speakers also from uh, Civic Chat. So uh, do you, are you there? Yeah, can you yeah. can you turn on the camera to, to yeah. switch it? Maybe? So we have uh, uh, Shinsuke-san. Yeah, I'm Shinsuke. Hello. Thank you. And we have Yuki-san. We have a two Yuki san. <laughs> One is Yuki <laughs> Mihashi san and Yuki Takashi Takas san. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, okay, we are ready. And we have uh, Hayata san. Oh, he uh, he's he's absent. He's absent. Okay, okay. And we have uh, Keiko san. Hello. Yes. So we have uh, <laughs> today. We have a uh, six uh, uh, senior high school student from Japan. So uh, after our uh, briefly introduction, we will uh, show their uh, videos. So please show the videos. Thank you. And if you want to ask any questions, uh, please uh, ask on the slide door and we will uh, have a Q&A part after videos. Thank you. Hello. In this session, I'm going to talk about what the interns at Code for Japan are doing. Hello. In this session, I'm going to talk about what... Hello. In this session, I'm going to talk about what the interns at Code for Japan are doing. And don't worry if you don't know much about Code for Japan. I'm an intern and I'm going to explain it in detail as well. So let's get started. Let me show you the agenda of this presentation. The first five minutes, I will talk about the overview of Code for Japan and the interns at Code for Japan, including me. Then I will describe the job we intern have and what we are doing at Code for Japan. After that, I will introduce the competition held by interns for students. The competition named Civic Tech Challenge Cup Under 22, CCC Under 22 in short. After the, the introduction of CCC, the champion team of CCC will get, give a presentation about their product in about eight minutes. The champion team is named Civichat. So the speakers in this session are me and team Civichat. I'm an intern at Code for Japan, as I said, and also a high school student. And Civichat is the champion team of CCC and have five members. So let's start the first topic, the overview of Code for Japan. Code for Japan is the biggest civic tech community in Japan. Our motto is to think together, create together. It means instead of waiting for the government or others to do something, let's think and act on what we can do ourselves. This is similar to GovZero motto, ask not why nobody is doing this, you are the nobody. So the position or the role of Code for Japan is also really similar to that of GovZero in Taiwan. And there are over 4,000 members on stack and they make, make up over 80 brigades. Some brigades mainly work in a specific region while others work with a single purpose regardless of region. For example, Code for Cat, which works to stop the killing of cats, or Code for Gin, which made up of city or prefecture, council member, and diet member. One of Code for Japan's most famous recent project is COVID-19 information website of Tokyo. 
Since this website has been developed with Nux.js and deployed to Netrify, many developers, including students, has involved in development and was poked by all the prefectures COVID-19 website. And Call for Japan also have other COVID-19 related projects, for example, Study at Home, which is the web service to support learning from home, or Mamori Japan, which is the exposure notification app to fight against COVID-19. And Open Eats Japan, which aims to establish a standard format for restaurants information. These projects are all open source software. So if you are interested, why don't you check them up on GitHub? So let's move on to the, the introduction of the interns. There are six student interns at Call for Japan. The first guy is Taiyu Yoshizawa. He's a proposer of CCC, the competition which I talked about earlier, and a contributor to the COVID-19 website of Hokkaido Prefecture. And next is Miyu Hirao. She's a university student majoring in design. So she really helped us make presentation slides for the event. I really appreciate that. Then Yuto Ashida, he's a developer of Study at Home, the COVID-19 related project and also a contributor to COVID-19 website of Kobe Prefecture. And Kyo Watanabe, he is also a developer of Study at Home and contributor to COVID-19 website of Tokyo. Lastly, Yusaku Washio, he is now working on a robot competition in a national tournament. And what we the interns are doing is event management. Sometimes we build a website as a landing page of event, but mainly we run or plan events. We decide on a theme for the event and contact guests and host or facilitate the event. That is our main job. And we are now running two monthly events, Civic Tech Live and Social Hack Day, and one big competition named Civic Tech Challenge Cup Under 22. I will introduce them from next slide. First, Civic Tech Live. This is a monthly Civic Tech event which we decide on a different theme each month and invite guests. The main contents are a presentation by guests and a conference which participants put forward an agenda for discussion. This event typically runs for two hours and it's been online since April because of COVID-19. So the people who live in far from Tokyo and who couldn't participate if it was on site in Tokyo became able to participate this event. So I've been able to interact with people who live far away from Tokyo or sometimes in other countries. The next event is Social Hack Day. This is a monthly one-day hackathon and it's also been online since April. The participants bring their own project and other participants join the project which they are interested in. Once you've decided on a project to participate in, you will continue developing it for six hours with a lunch break in between. And new projects are coming each month and I also participate in a project because there are many projects that even novice developers like me or non-tech people can contribute to. So if you are interested, please join us. And next, this has already come up a couple times on this session, but I will introduce Civic Tech Challenge Cup Under 22, aka CCC Under 22. CCC Under 22 is a social problem solving competition organized by student for student. As this screenshot this competition was held online and most of the teams were formed on Slack and worked online. The only requirement that we staff presented to the teams as a theme to work on was only social program. So it means participants can choose a social program in a broad sense. And as we intended, the participating teams chose social programs of various scales. And here's one of them. The participating team named Code by Ray develop local bus location API. The original local bus data is disclosed as a protocol buffers by government. So this is really unfriendly with developer because we can't use protocol buffers data as it is. And Code by Ray convert this data to JSON API, the developer friendly format. So they solve the social problem, which the public data was provided in a format that was difficult to use. And also other participating team chose teams based on the characteristic of each teams, as in this example. And there were over 100 participants and 28 teams entered. After a month of development, 10 teams were selected as finalists. The works of these 10 teams were really amazing 
and it's hard to believe they are in the same age. In the end, the grand prize went to the team named Sevichat, and I will not explain about them because they will give a presentation from now. So let's move on to their awesome works and presentation. Thank you for introducing Code for Japan. We talk about Shibichat. Here is today's agenda. First, member. Second, program. Third, solution. And them. At last, we talk about the future of Shibichat. This slide is talk about member. My name is Shunsuke Takagi. I'm currently a senior in high school and a student at a place called N High School. Even before, I decided to compete in the CCC, which I was introduced earlier. I was developing Shibichat with Keigo Murata. We are supported by the N High School Entrepreneurship Support Program. We recently became a corporation. So I'm also the president of Shibichat Inc. My main job of Shibichat is to set the overall duration of the company and talk to people outside the organization. Next member. Hi, I'm Keigo Murata. I'm a student of N High School. At Shibichat, I developed a part of the line chat system. Now I develop the line front end framework application. Thank you. Thank you, Keigo. My name is Hayata Yuge. I'm a student of NIT Ibaraki College. In Japan, the school is called Ibaraki Kosen. At Shibichat, I designed and built the infrastructure using AWS. In addition, I developed a part of the line chat system. Now, I develop the database management system for municipalities. Thank you. Thank you, Yuge. Hello, I'm Yuki Takatsu. I'm a student of N High School. At Shibichat, I develop a part of recommend system. Thank you. Hi, I'm Yuki Mihashi. I'm a student of N High School. At Shibichat, I designed some images. Thank you. Thank you, Yuki. Next. Is uh, about program. Here is the uh, most big program. People don't know which public welfare program is the best. The most reason is but you are UX. There are two reasons. First, no notification. Second, difficult to understand. Next, I talk about more details. No notification. It's not enough for the government to debate resource to nofty people. Because much costy for people to do and no automated. In conclusion, the government interface is not on the digital. Next. Difficult to understand. Right side images the program which supports the cost to enter school and university. No format and no validation on documents. Next. We talk about the solution. Shibichat to notifications and understandable description. This screenshot is Shibichat's demo screen. First image shows how to send notification. Second and third image is how to work Shibichat. So many people have uh, why use the Shibichat a uh, chatbot because people cannot search for a word they don't know. So you end up no, not now. 
In conclusion, explore the best program so talk with Chief Chat. Same format, validation on the field. Writing clothes and artificial language. So simple and easy interface. This is a CiviChat database management screen. It is mainly intended to be used by the management of CiviChat and the staff of the municipality. You can add, edit, and delete data in about two clicks. Also, you can use it even if you don't have an internet connection. We have designed a system that creates a snapshot based on your queries and automatically updates the cloud database when you are connected to the internet. At last, we talk about the future. Here is a Shibichat want to be the government interface in Japan. First, complete the process of recommending and applying for the program online, which use the individual number. Second, design to our government service to be used both online and offline, which call the people OMO, online much offline. That's collaborating with local government. A trust feature of Shibichat. Combating information about the administrative system into open data. So the people can use business development and study research. Here is the Shibichat feature. Thank you for listening. You can see the more details from right side QR code. Thank you. Thank you for a great presentation and I can't wait for CiviChat to officially launch. And this is all for our presentation. And if you haven't joined Slack of Code for Japan yet, join us from cfj.slack.com. So thank you so much for today and to the staff for giving me this great opportunity and to all of you listening. Thank you. Sayonara. Okay, so thanks, uh, Kodasam and uh, yep. members of uh, CV Chat. So we have uh, some questions from our uh, participants. So, uh, but before that, I want to ask uh, because you you say that um, maybe government have a lot of documents which is not very useful. But I I want to know like is this from your yourself's experience or why why you want to do this uh, CV chat project? Oh, it's me. Yeah, I, w I want to ask uh, why uh, maybe uh, Shinsuke san why you want ah, yeah. to do CV chat project. Why Do you start have uh, a project? any difficult to use uh, data from government? Uh, so the, the government public welfare program data is too difficult to be. So the we process to more readable uh, format and uh, use it. So that is the most uh, the process. So, thank you. Okay. So uh, we have uh, some questions from our audience. Like, uh, is there? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, what is the biggest change since you join uh, Kofu Japan community? Uh, so it we want to, me. like, uh, Kodasan, can you answer yeah. these questions? Yeah. Um, uh, before like, joining Code for Japan, 
I even don't know what is civic tech or like and also I just started programming uh, about one a uh, one half years ago or about them so um, I don't know well about code for Japan and I know the I came to know code for Japan first at uh, like COVID-19 task force website. And after joining Code for Japan, I realized that there's so many problem in any ways. I thought uh, like programming can change anything, but uh, that's, that's, that's true, but uh, it takes so many times. And I tried to mm, like, mm, I came to know the um, real of tech genres. That's all. Right. So, so uh, I want to know that uh, if you in the uh, are you in a uh, senior high school and uh, yeah. what you want to do for maybe in the future, maybe to university or you what do you want to do after like uh graduating from a uh, senior high school uh, do you mm. have uh, any plan about civic hack after you maybe finish your uh your uh senior high, senior high school um i'm going to like uh keep joining Code for Japan and continue the internship, this internship job. Um, and I, um, I'm going to research some uh, technology in university. So um, that may be, that, that not may be uh, like related to civic tech, but I will continue this like, Mm, movement no the um, i will keep taking action for civic tech so what why is uh, ha happen uh the, the habit is things in during uh, this year in Kofu japan uh we held a like ccc for the first time and this is like the, this is maybe the first contest competition held by student and all online. So this is an, mm, challenging. This was so challenging and new things we we did. So, in this so year. what what is challenging you? Like, what do you think the most difficult part in this award? Uh, mm, there is. Uh, uh, we have to. Uh, we are students, since we are students, so we have to go to school and run this competition. So uh, we are, we were so busy in during summer vacation and have, I had no time to play hangout with friends. So that's the hardest thing. Yeah. So talk about uh, your friends. So is there uh, a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of uh, senior high school students want to join the open source community, or they just have no interest about civic tech. Uh, talking about in my school, there's no no student, absolutely no student, because my school was like a general uh, academic school. That's like not like. Uh, the Sibichet, all of most of Sibichet member is uh, belongs to the N High School. That is mainly uh, that the member of N High School is mainly like do programming, like write code. But my school is not not like that. So uh, also uh, today, I get out of got out of school for this event, but no one understand about my job and 
what I what I will do today. So that's hard to tell my friends what I'm doing, what my job. Yeah, but you did a very good job at uh, <laughs> Kofu Japan. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So you. <laughs> we have a, a, a one question to like CBA chat. Uh, is there any example who use these tools to uh, analyze data or do <laughs> report? Is there yeah. any? Yeah. So thank you for that question. So now uh, it's not support CBJet, but we are, we are currently developing the ability to measure where the system was not entered the middle of the application. So their data can uh, use a more good user experience. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, so, oh, I, I know that uh, a lot of uh, CV chat members came from uh, N high school, like you have a digital high school. So can you just briefly introduce your schools? Like, because I think it's very special to us, like we don't have uh, too much like uh, digital schools. Yeah. Is anyone want to <laughs> introduce your <coughs> schools or? The, any subject member? Oh uh, yeah, okay. So the subject member <laughs> is in the correspondence high school, or which calls in high school. So which is the uh, most big correspondence school in Japan. So that's, that school have a lot of the many school. Uh, it, it, uh, some prefecture in Japan. The uh, many of the students can uh, writing a code and uh, making some design. Uh, so their students, uh, their students write their computer science. So thank you. Okay, so thank you for your sharing. So, hope you uh, enjoy the the, ses the session and in the afternoon, and we have a more uh, sessions about it tech this this afternoon. So, thank you for like Koda Sang and members from CV Chat. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We have to study English more hard, <laughs> yeah. harder. So, <laughs> take your hardest thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.